hello everyone in this video we talk about an important process that all the data science and ai team has to do before they can start analyzing the data and start getting the insights from the data that is extract transform and load as the name suggests itself extraction means getting data from source system which could be transaction systems loading this data into a new data model which is close to what the analytics team want to achieve and transformation is what they can do for different different specific use cases essentially for any data or ai application one of the most important thing is being able to have the right data at right time in right format and that's what the whole purpose of this specific process elt is so you might have heard about ETL already, which is extract, transform and load. In this case, the source systems and the destination systems are tightly coupled together with the transformation process. But as companies grow, as the data use cases grow, what eventually happen is that a data cannot be tied directly to the use case. Based on different use cases, the data use could change. So with the modern data warehouse systems, we started with ELTs where the data is extracted and loaded into source systems, sometimes called staging tables or new data format tables. And from there, data scientist or other purpose of data can be achieved. So essentially ELT, it's a single source of truth for all your current and future needs where all your raw data is stored in a fixed frequency and second thing is uh, it provides the flexibility to build their data sets on top of the raw data which essentially means today you might want to understand customer behavior of how they're navigating through the website tomorrow you might want to have the same customer behavior based on from where they access the website and what items they purchase so essentially what you see similar kind of data is getting reused so uh, ELT allows you to have all the raw data in one place and you don't need to build a new pipeline from the source system for this new use case. So how exactly it looks like? So from all the systems, source one, source two, source three, source n, you bring all the data together into a unified platform and then your analytics team can access data as per their need from the unified platform. So they can create aggregates by month, by years, by customers as the use cases evolve. And this makes sure that you are not calling the source system again and again and also storing data which is a copy of your transitional data and making it available to the users so how exactly it looks like so first to define the source for instance in this uh, screen you can see that we have a bucket and in this bucket there is a fraud detection data set stored csv now this data set is stored in a bucket which somebody could have uploaded it as a source system as a raw file but this could be so many different other source systems as well. Then the loading has to happen somewhere. So the destination. So let's suppose from the file, we want the data to be available in uh, a database, which can be further used. So this could be the source that you have to define. And then a process to execute, which will bring data from the source, which is insurance raw data. And this take this data from there, transform it, replicate it, and store it in a data warehouse. So this is the whole process of ELT that all the data sources has to go through. It is one of the most important steps that you have to do to enable your data scientist and analytics professional to do it. Provide to provide you all the hosted systems and tools to achieve this and create your own data warehouse to make the AI and ML use cases more effective. If you want to have a demo, of this specific process or any of the tools or just want to have a chat with us to understand how we can help you make your own data warehouse contact us at sales at the rate provider.com thank you